African leopards are quite small by big cat standards, since they usually weigh around 37 to 90 kilograms compared to a 190 kilograms African lion. And while they do have enough force to bring down game larger than themselves, given that the leopard is much bigger and much better built than its lightweight cousin, the cheetah, they nevertheless must contend themselves with prey items that are a tiny bit larger, or at least weigh proportionally with the cats themselves such as Thompson's gazelles, impalas or wildebeests. On the other hand, humongous game are to be avoided at all costs, including the notorious African Cape Buffalo, one of the most feared of Africa's giants, and probably the most dangerous of all bovines worldwide. Sure enough, African buffaloes weigh around 500 to 1000 kilograms, which makes them very sturdy, much too large, and much too risky to take on. Considering that buffaloes have bulk, lethal hooves and horns, heightened aggression, and a great strength in numbers at their disposal, even lions, the continent's apex predators, hesitate in attacking them, because these bovines will stop at nothing to charge at an unfortunate predator that gets in their way, or to protect comrades in danger. Luckily, when under assault from buffaloes, the leopard does have this advantage over the lion. It's a master in tree climbing, a leopard will definitely find itself out of reach by buffaloes. Therefore, the buffalo will leave the cat alone and get on with their march in the savannah, knowing that a leopard poses no threat to them or their young, as long as it does not target them. However, a lonely buffalo calf, which usually weighs around 14 kilograms, is easily vulnerable to predator attacks, including leopards. leopard on the prowl will have no problem killing the buffalo calf with a simple but painful bite to the neck or throat, without having to endure any risks. And that's why the majority of leopard attacks on buffaloes only involve the calves, 
while fully grown adults are pretty much avoided. Honey badger known as the most fearless creature in the world. The reason is, they have incredibly tough skin about one quarter of an inch thick, which protects them and helps to keep injuries to a minimum. The honey badger's skin is largely impenetrable to teeth, stingers, and quills. Not only is their skin thick, but it is also loose. When honey badger get caught in the mouth of a predator, their loose skin allows them to maneuver and squirm their bodies around. Then attack the predator with their sharp teeth and extremely sharp claws. They also have incredibly strong jaws and are capable of breaking through the shell of a turtle. The honey badger also has the advantage of a stinky odor that is produced in its anal gland. This smell alone is often satisfactory to ward off predators. Honey badger with sharp claws, sharp teeth, and jaw strength, put the perfect position to fight the predator. Please like this video and subscribe to BV Animal Documentary, if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.